Okay, so I've gone over um, peripheral artery disease. Now let's just go quickly over venous disease. So, again, risk factors can be grouped into two main groups. Reversible and irreversible. Irreversible in this case is age and gender. Being female, you can't reverse these things. Um, being female is actually predisposes you 10 times more to venous diseases than if you were male. Again, misogyny everywhere. The uh, other reversible factors can are obesity, prolonged standing. This is very uh, different. <laughs> Smoking, uh, history of venous thrombus, deep or superficial doesn't matter pregnancy i don't i don't know how pregnancy can be reversible but it's just because you are going to give birth at some point so it, it will be reversed and high estrogen but this one is very unique prolonged standing so how these lead to this in venous diseases, by and large, the cause for every venous disease is incompetent valves. This is the bane of everything bad with veins. Incompetent valves. Why? Because incompetent valves cause retrograde blood flow or backflow of the blood. Eventually leading to dilated, elongated, or tortuous veins makes sense right so this is why then it leads to venous disease and one of these are varicose veins very famous what are the clinical presentations limb discomfort not surprisingly limb pain again not surprisingly paresthesia tingling irritation it can be itchiness or uh, discoloration redness any of that dilated veins leg edema all of these and even thrombophlebitis, which is an um, inflammation of the vein walls caused by thrombosis. Again, none of these are surprising if when you know how it happened, right? So the investigation, the diagnosis in this case is mostly a history and physical exam. Like the, these two are the reason you are going to reach reach a diagnosis not necessarily this even though it's the gold standard but the clinical uh cl the clinical setting is most important here so you will have you will take the history to see if any of the risk factors are present and then in the physical examination you need to inspect the patient while standing this is key because you want to see how the veins look like when uh they are under pressure right so you want to see the patient while they are standing look for cabbage scarring because you want to know if it, if this is a complication uh from cabbage uh, and also because cabbage would mean they have a um predisposed or like uh they are prone to vessel disease and then you also need to uh assist for the pulse in the most part, the pulse will be present. Why the pulse will be present? This is very nice if you know. I will tell you why. The pulse will be present and strong because this is a venous disease. It's not an artery disease. So arteries are fine. Arteries are good. Arteries are well. Pulse will be present. And I just want to say the leg will be warm. Again, because this is a venous disease and not an artery disease, so the oxygen will be delivered, which means this is not hypoxia. So again, on presentation, the leg won't look cyanotic. It might actually look quite fine. I will, it will be warm and it will be uh, wet, like it won't be dry, because again, this is a venous disease and not a artery disease. Very nice, right? In management, again, you will 
the most important part is the risk factor modification. Uh, if they're obese, lose weight. If they're if it's prolonged standing, sit more often. If it's smoking, quit. If it's a uh, Venus, I, I mean, I don't know how you can modify this. So let's just skip it. Pregnancy. I hope you give birth and yani stay be healthy you and your baby. If it's high estrogen, check with your OBGYN. Right. Uh, and then you can, after that, you can uh, intervene pharmacologically. You can give Iskrin, which is a chestnut, uh, chestnut oil, chestnut extract, aspirin to help the blood move more quickly. Pinto, uh, pentoxifiline, again, for the same uh, thing with peripheral artery disease. It's not... You don't want to vasodilate or anything, but you want to uh, relieve the symptoms. The limb discomfort, the limb pain, paresthesia, t- tightness, all of these, you want them to be uh, relieved. And pentotoxifiline does that. Skin care is very important in here. Skin care is very important in this case because you have skin irritation. Uh, It can be, like I said, itchiness, discoloration, um, irritation, anything like that. So skincare is key also because if it's itchiness and your um, artery, uh, I mean your veins are already bulging and you are scratching, I'm afraid you might rupture a vessel. So skincare is very, very, very important. And if worse comes to worse, there might be a surgical intervention. In most cases, like they will take out the bulging vessel and then stitch it back up again. So basically bypass. Okay. Uh, uh, just one more thing that I wanted to go over quickly is the ulcers. How to differentiate between arterial, venous, and neuropathic ulcers. Uh, arterial ulcers are usually in the toes and pressure points. Why? Because these are the furthest away from the heart. The blood ha- the longest distance the blood has to travel. So if your artery is not working adequately, the blood will have a harder time reaching the toes. Right? And not surprisingly, the patient will uh, uh, the area or the toe will look cyanotic. It will be blue because because there will be less oxygen because you can't reach it. And again, non surprisingly, it will be cool and dry because there is no oxygen. Pain is sometimes severe. It can be so severe. Again, why severe? Because your tissue is dying. It is literally choking to death. So it will be severe veins are collapsed and the pulse will be absent because this is an artery and if the artery can't the pulse points are felt in the arteries and if the artery is a problem there will be no pulse absolutely makes perfect sense on the other hand if it's a venous if it's a venous ulcer it will be in the medial malleolus lateral or posterior calf because these are um you know, again, the the furthest the the furthest away from the heart. The um, very important thing about it, or like the very unique thing about it, is that the appearance has a very well demarcated uh, area. So the surrounding area is super hyper pigmented and well demarcated. It will be red because, like I said, this is a venous. It's not an arterial disease. So uh, there will be blood. There will be blood. And it will be exudative because there will be blood and there will be fluid and there will be um, fluid. (laughs) So it will be warm and wet for the same exact reasons. There is blood and there is fluid. So it's going to be warm and wet. The pain might be mild for the most part, and the veins will be, like I said, dilated, can be varicose vein, telangiectasia, or reticular. Because this is a venous disease, you have every kind of venous uh, 
variety. And like I just said, uh, the surrounding uh, skin is hyperpigmented. This is the uh, hallmark of venous ulcers. Lastly, in the neuropathic ulcers, neuropathic, so it's something that has to do with the nerves, right? Uh, it's mostly in the soles and the bony prominence, so near bones. The appearance is very unique because it has a punched out, deep and infected. Punched out, deep and infected. Uh, it will be warm and dry both warm and dry and the pain will be absent because it's a neuropathic it's a problem with the nerves so the pain there you won't be feeling any kind of pain or sensation for that matter any kind of sensation your veins will be dilated hence it's warm no this is not the reason why it's warm <laughs> Hence why it's dry, let's say. No, 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 this is not, this is, doesn't make sense either. Hmm. Why is it warm and dry? Warm because it's, it's not a, an artery problem, so there will be oxygen. But why is it dry? Hmm. I don't know why is it dry. I will look further into it. But. For the most part, it makes sense if you think about the arterial and venous, so you know it. And uh, and then, this is the flip-flop of it. Okay. So, yeah. This is, uh, this was both venous disease and an overview of everything else.